Stories of the Bible The Thankful Leper This is Jesus hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things while he was on earth. It's true! One day, he was traveling to Jerusalem and was going through a village when ten men who had leprosy came to him. Now in the time Jesus lived, leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived. They were called unclean, and no one wanted to be close to them. Ah, gross! But when these men who had leprosy saw Jesus coming, Hey, Jesus! They called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them and said, Go show yourself to the priests. Oh, yeah, we in that. And as they went, they were healed and had leprosy no more. Whoa, woohoo! When one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, Praise God! Oh, yeah, praise God! He thanked Jesus for what he had done. Ah, hmm. Jesus asked, didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Looks like it. Then Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Thank you. And so the man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Stories of the Bible Jesus raises Jairus' daughter. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. One day, a crowd met Jesus as he was getting off a boat. Oh, hey guys. A Jewish leader named Jairus came to Jesus and begged Jesus to come to his home because his 12-year-old daughter was dying. As Jesus went with him, a woman was healed of her sickness when she touched him. As this was happening, a messenger arrived from Jairus' house and told him his daughter was dead, so there was no need to trouble Jesus anymore. But when Jesus heard what happened, he said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just have faith and she will be healed. When they arrived at the house, it was filled with people crying. But Jesus said, Aww. Stop the weeping. She isn't dead. She's only asleep. The crowd laughed at Jesus because they all knew she had died. Jesus made them all leave except Peter, James, John, and the girl's father and mother. Then Jesus took the girl by hand and said in a loud voice, my child, get up! Oh, hey everyone! And the little girl immediately stood up and started walking around. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were amazed, but Jesus insisted that they not tell anyone what had happened. But news still spread all throughout the region of the miracle Jesus had done. Stories of the Bible Jesus Raises Lazarus from the Dead This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. He had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha. Here you go. 
who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on! But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, I don't know. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Ah, uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus. But Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, yeah, be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus' grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. <laughs> Stories of the Bible Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey everyone! One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples and he saw a man who was born blind. Hey, 
His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, "Go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam." So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. Wow! The man's neighbors and others who knew him as the blind man wondered if this was the same man. Is that the same guy? No way. They said, "No, he just looks like him." It's right. No, it can't be. But the blind man kept saying, "Yes, it's me." So the people asked, "Who healed you? What happened?" And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. Oh, God will help him. The people asked, "Where is Jesus now?" But the man didn't know. Come on, you. So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? And he answered them, "I was blind, but now I can see." The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, "Mercy! Look, I told you once. Why do you want to hear it again?" If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened. Oh, hey there! And he found the man and asked him, "Do you believe in the Son of Man?" The man answered, "Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him." You have seen him, Jesus said. And he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped Jesus. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a sick woman. This is Jesus. Hey, yo. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world? While Jesus was on Earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles, like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! One day. A crowd met Jesus as he was getting off a boat. Oh, hey guys! A Jewish leader came to Jesus and begged Jesus to help him. <laughs> Jesus went with the man, and the crowd followed him. A woman in the crowd had been sick for 12 years and spent all her money to pay doctors to help her, but she had only gotten worse. She heard about Jesus, and she thought to herself. If I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. So the woman came up behind Jesus and touched his robe. Immediately, the woman was healed. Wow! Jesus felt that healing power had gone out from him, so he asked, "Who touched my robe?" Not me. Everyone in the crowd said they didn't touch him, and Peter told Jesus the whole crowd was touching him. But Jesus kept looking because he knew someone touched him on purpose because he felt healing power go out from him. So the woman realized she couldn't stay hidden, and she fell on her knees before Jesus. She explained why she had touched Jesus, and Jesus said to her, "Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over." Jesus went on his way to heal another, and the woman was healed from her terrible sickness because of her faith. 
Stories of the Bible, the faith of a Roman officer. This is Jesus, Heyo. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Jesus was in Capernaum when a Roman officer came to him and asked for his help. The Roman officer's servant was paralyzed and was lying in bed with terrible pain. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. But the Roman officer said that he wasn't worthy to have Jesus come to his house and knew that if Jesus just said the word from where he was, that his servant would be healed. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Jesus turned to his followers and said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all Israel. Then Jesus said to the Roman officer, Go back home. Because you believed, it has happened. And the young servant was healed that same hour. <laughs>